warning. This video is intended for demonstration purposes only. Trying to duplicate the shown procedures may result in serious injury or even death. Hello. In this video I will recover and refine gold from 327 transistors KT920 series aka helicopters. First I had to remove the ceramic cap to allow the acid to reach all metal parts of the transistors. Here are the transistors with all metal parts exposed. Most of the transistors were removed from the PCBs using a heat gun. They were covered with thermal paste, the removal of which presented a challenge in itself. To get rid of the paste I tried acids, bases, acetone with no success, the only thing that worked was paint thinner. After cleaning the transistors I let them dry completely. I started dissolving the base metals with 10% nitric acid. The flask is placed on a hot plate. After boiling for 20 minutes. Saturated solution. After exhausting the acid I poured the saturated solution through a sieve.
After decantation I added fresh acid, repeating the cycle over and over again. After the third acid replacement I switched to 50% nitric acid. At some point, gold shells started rising to the top which is a good indicator that the base metal's digestion was nearly finished, or at least I thought it was. I rinsed the gold shells with water and added hydrochloric acid. Then I added 50 milliliters nitric acid. Just in time. I managed to remove the flask from the hot plate before it boiled over. I waited for the reaction to cease completely, before decanting the solution into a beaker. Then I rinsed the gold shells with hydrochloric acid which I decanted into the beaker.
I noticed that the gold shells were intact, meaning there must have been base metals preventing the gold from dissolving. And judging from the color of the rinse, there are still base metals that need to be dissolved. Pouring another portion of hydrochloric acid. Adding 30 milliliters nitric acid. While waiting for the gold to dissolve in the flask, I decided to derenox the solution in the beaker using sulfamic acid. And as I suspected all the nitric acid has been used up. The transistors are made of two different alloys, the screw is made of copper-based alloy and the blades are made of kovar, the same alloy used for the lids and the connectors of the ceramic CPUs. I've observed before, when I was dissolving gold-plated lids from CPUs, that the gold doesn't start to dissolve until the last piece of kovar is gone. Believing that this was the same case, I concluded that there should be no gold in the solution from the beaker. To put the theory to the test I filtered the denox solution. I took a drop of the solution then added to it a stannous chloride crystal and diluted the test with couple of drops of water. As expected, no gold in solution, but just in case I added a spoonful of SMB and put the beaker aside. Meanwhile, all the gold in the flask was dissolved, so I poured the solution through a sieve to prevent the ceramic discs from getting into the beaker.
I filtered the Denox solution. I poured the filtrate into a clean beaker and added SMB to it. Fifteen minutes later all the gold had settled at the bottom of the beaker. I decanted the barren liquid and boiled the gold in hydrochloric acid. Then I redissolved the gold by adding a few milliliters of nitric acid and about 20 milliliters of hydrochloric acid.
After 5 minutes on the hot plate all the gold had dissolved. Since I was going to use sodium nitrite to precipitate the gold, it was not mandatory to derenox the solution, but I decided to do it anyway and added sulfamic acid. After cooling, I diluted the solution with water to double its volume, at which point the solution became cloudy. I then filtered the solution to get a crystal clear filtrate. I put the beaker on the hot plate and started adding sodium nitrite powder, waiting for the reaction to cease before adding new portion.
After the precipitation I boiled the gold several times with water. I moved the gold to the crucible and covered it with some borax. Melting The results. Fifteen point two six grams pure gold from three hundred and twenty seven used transistors, or that's about zero point four seven grams per helicopter. The discs after the gold extraction. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below.